Monday night, it's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Philadelphia Eagles, and I got something to say. I got something to say. For all the pundits, for all the media personalities, for all the fans, for all the naysayers who had serious questions and question marks for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, talking about some, what are they going to do without Tom Brady? Oh my gosh, they're going two and they only going to win two games. They only going to win three games. We two and oh. We two and oh. And that ain't even the most impressive thing about the season yet. The most impressive thing about the season is the fact that that boy, that bad man, that y'all kept on counting out, that y'all kept on saying his best years was behind him, that y'all kept on saying he was trash and he couldn't throw the football, Baker Mayfield is leading the charge and the boy ain't got no turnovers. No turnovers. And let me deal with y'all. Let, let me deal with the haters right quick. Let me deal with the haters right quick. We got a lot we want to get into today. But let, me deal, let me deal with this buck. This buck game prediction, I'm going to give you my score prediction, but I, but I got to address, I got to address some stuff. I got to get some stuff off my chest. Y'all don't watch football, y'all watch highlights. Y'all don't watch football, y'all watch FS1 and ESPN. Y'all don't really watch football. Because if you really watched football, you would have never made the dumb statements that y'all kept making all, above, all off season. Talking about Bucks only going to win two, three games. Have you looked at our roster? Have you taken time to really look at our roster? No, I, I, I understand you a Falcon. I understand you a Dallas Cowboy. I understand you a, you, you a Kansas City Chief. But you speaking on, you speaking on, you speaking on the squad, but you ain't, you ain't, have you really taken time to look at the roster? Now, if you, you follow the channel, you already know I keep it 100. You know, I, I don't give you pie in the sky. I'm a realist. When you look at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers roster, that's a legit roster. We got eight players starting on defense who started in the Super Bowl that we just won. Hello? Not only that, but you got Baker Mayfield who is not as trash as everybody say he was. But it's not even about Baker. You give him a healthy offensive line. We ain't have a healthy offensive line last year. And to be honest with you, Ryan Jensen, our starting center, he's still out. So we ain't 100% healthy. But we got the best right tackle in football. Yeah. Yeah. Tristan Wurfs. The best right tackle in football. Not only do we have the best right tackle in football, we got one of the best wide receiver duos in the whole league. One of the best wide receiver duos in the entire NFL. Mike Evans, you better double him. Chris Godwin, you better bracket him. Devin White, Levante David. Shaq Barrett was injured almost all the last season. He's back. Our secondary is healthy, and that boy Izzy is off the chain, that rookie, and he my early defensive rookie of the year. So I understand you may not like the Bucs. I understand you may not have to pay attention to the Bucs, and you only followed the Bucs because of Brady. But only somebody who don't know football, only a fool would have looked at that roster and said they only going to win three, four, maybe five games. Man, you out your mind. And we 2-0. Oh. But that ain't the most impressive part about us being 2-0. The most impressive part about us being 2-0 is the fact that Baker Mayfield has zero turnovers. Pause. Zero turnovers. No fumbles, no interceptions. Now, I ain't stupid. I know the turnover's going to start coming sooner or later. That's for everybody. I know it's going to start coming sooner or later. But the first two weeks of the season, we 2-0, and, and we 2-0 because that defense top 10 may, might be top 5. And Baker Mayfield is not turning the ball over. So if you put a competent roster on the football field and you combine that with Baker, who got swag, get your weight up, little boy, as he stiff-arming defensive backs as he going to the sideline. When you got something like that on the field, taking snaps with that roster surrounding him, 
Man, you better chalk up at least 10 games. 